hey guys what's up how you doing you welcome back to my channel it is your favorite girl panel p to the e to the n to the i to the e to the l a <laughs> guys as you guys can see i'm super excited i'm beyond excited you guys i woke up yesterday to 500 plus subscriber hey god you guys are the one that come i'm super 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 excited like i'm beyond grateful i'm so so grateful thank you so much for stopping by on my channel and if it's your first time see my face you haven't subscribed yet feel free to hit the subscribe button you are in the right place thank you so much for stopping by so i already i've been getting um questions about how panel how did you make your intro how what do you use to edit your videos and how do you make the subscribe thing pop up in your videos and how do you remove the green screen from it and all of that so today i'm going to be doing a detailed video of how i made that possible and how i made that happen i know for we beginning youtubers will have some little, little issues with these things and sometimes learning it want to just know how to do it and all of that so i'm going to be showing you guys how i do mine and um what i used to edit my videos i use power director and InShot to make my edits so for this particular video i'll be using power director because that's what i used in making my intro and that's what i used to remove green screen from the subscribe icon that pops up that pop that pops that comes up of my video so yes basically that's what it's going to be so keep watching what i did was i clicked on power director and for it open wait for it to open so you can see tutorial new project produce the video so what i do is click on new project click that you can name it so let's say i want to name this um in true in true so yeah done so click on this and okay basically that's what happens and then when once this comes up like this for my intro how i did my intro was i click on color board you can see different colors are here so i click on the white one because i want to be okay let me use another color for this for the purpose of the video so let's use this one yep and that's there so what i do is i click on so you click on that on that you see um these three icons pop out here the one that has the fx triangle or whatever or i don't know what that is what is it that is what, okay that's not triangle that's like it yeah so yeah that's you click on that hit there that's this icon yes the center icon you click on it and then you see title so you click on title so the one I use for my intro is this one. Flocking, you get, you get, you can see assemble line, clover, default, it would fade, um, ending, whatever, whatever, and the whole of that. So what I use for mine is flocking, and um, yep, that is there. And I go ahead to click on the video again, the video I'm producing. So what do you play it? And basically that will come up. So what you go ahead to do is to click on Power Director, click on the C, like the T, you know, like type. So for me, how I did mine was I made it bold and italic at the same time. And then I went ahead to use the, at the extreme left, you can see the, the A, right? Where you see the A, I use this last one here, this last one. That's what I went ahead to do. So I added shadow, which is this. The shadow is up. So, and then you feel shadow. That's how I did mine. So I went ahead to reduce this to like 0 0.5. Yeah, that is it. And um, yeah, and just click on the on the right up again. Click on that and put whatever you want to. Mine is Peniel Edwin. Peniel, oh no. Peniel Edwin. Normally my name is to come up now. Yeah, panel editing and yeah, you click this good sign, you mark the good and it's there. So basically that's it. So you can increase this or reduce it, whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's it. So let's click on that. 
you can see that's how it is. So I want this to be at the center. So, so once that is done, I go ahead to add the um, subscribe, whatever that comes up. So you click on that um, shape again and click on video. You can see I have it here already download. It comes up and yep, I've added that to the video again. So I still click on that video and go back there. So what I do is I play it. So I move this back to here. Reduce it to how I want it to be and here. So yeah, for this, for to remove the green screen now, I'm trying to show you how to remove the green screen. So you click on this pen here. You can see volume, chroma key, and all that. So what we're using is volume. We use volume, reduce it to like 10 or 11. Click on fade in and fade out. Okay. And go back there again. Click on chroma key. So you see, use picker to select color. You click on that. Just tap on the green screen not on the subscribe tap on the green screen and um you tap on the picker again and then here you have color range and the noise color range you click color increase the color range to 32 that's what i use for mine and yeah just guys to play so now i want this to be more like i want this to be like um 10 seconds, let's say 10 seconds. Yeah, so I want it to be 10 seconds and I want this to be here. So, yeah. So, I want this to come when my name is out already. So, I just adjust this. Adjust this, so, please. So what I do is I go ahead to increase this thing so it won't be too fast. Like I want it to take its time. Okay, so play. See that? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So then if I want to add a music to this thing, I go ahead to click on the music icon there. I go to music. So what I did was I added a music I wanted to add. So, mind you, this is actually a full music. So, what I did was I just went ahead to play to where I wanted to give it. So, what I did was I just allowed it to stop where. To stop where the um the whole thing stops that here, which is here. So you click on that music you just added and use the cut button. Then that should show you it has just cut the video, the song for you. So you just click on the one that you, the new one and delete it. So yeah, basically that's what you have. So then what I do, I still go ahead to click on it, use the arrow button. Sorry. Um yes. I go to volume. Maybe I say I will just reduce this to like um say the one or two. Fade in, fade out, okay. Nah, the volume is too low. Uh, let's use fifty not fifty is cool. So yeah, this is done. And what I do is I now produce, what I'll do now is to produce this video. You can use whatever you're using. I'm more, I don't want to save the video because I already have an intro. So I'm just using whatever I, what I want to just use. So yeah, I'm just producing it. You can use the highest quality if you want. This is just for a tutorial. That's why I use that one. 
So after doing this, you have produced it and it's complete. You say, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. If it was helpful to you, please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. Like this video. Go ahead to share. Go ahead to like leave a comment in the comment section. And because I'm excited, I decided I was going to start something. So I'm going to be doing post notification shout outs. I'm going to be giving shout outs to people. So today's notification shout out goes to Esther Willy. Thank you so much, so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you want me to give you a shout out, all you need to do is to turn on your post notification. By then you subscribed already. So you turn on your post notification. Leave a comment in the comment section with a hashtag done. Like after your comment, you just use hashtag done. So I'll know you are a full member of the family. Signed, registered, and, and okay, man. Yeah, 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 a member of this family. So yes, I'll um give you a notification shout. I'm going to be giving, and hopefully I'm going to give shout out to everybody on this channel. It is one after the other. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell another friend to watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in another one. Bye.